Hello everyone and welcome back to another Godot Community Spotlight video where I take a look at who's been doing what in the Godot scene this week. We've got people sharing their opinions on Godot versus other engines, some tutorials and even the perspective of those just starting out. Because with Godot 4 now well into its beta release, we have a lot of newcomers trying out the engine for the first time. So let's get straight into it. Game, game Dev, Dev journey. journey. Fresh was taken was challenged by Not Inferno to a Unity vs Godot game jam, where they had to make a game in 24 hours using the same art assets. Fresh's video is actually really entertaining because Fresh has a great personality and is really fun. He made his game in Unity and it turned out quite nicely in the end. Not Inferno made his game in Godot and came up with a different concept, which was the most interesting part for me, seeing how creative two people can be with the same art. This kind of challenge is really fun and something I wish we could see more often on you. Please go and watch both videos to get the full experience. Soft Pretzel Games wanted to create a Starfield background for the game he was making in Godot, but he couldn't find any tutorials that explained how to do exactly what he wanted, so he figured out how to do it and made his own tutorial. If you want to know how to make a Starfield background in Godot in just three minutes, Soft Pretzel has the video for you. Also make sure to subscribe to encourage Pretzel to continue making tutorials in the future. A star is a path search algorithm which is used in many fields of computer science. Specifically in game dev we commonly use it for things like enemies patrolling or in an RTS game for units to move to areas on the map. A star is a directed algorithm so it does not blindly search for a path like a rat in a maze, instead it chooses the best direction to explore sometimes backtracking to try alternatives. This means that A star will find a path between two points if it exists, and it'll find the shortest path quite quickly. Big Turtle shares how he wrote an A star algorithm in GDScript from scratch for his game in his latest video, so be sure to check that out. CTG Coding is following the path of recreating classic games in order to learn how to use Godot, and he started with Pong. In the video, he shares what he learned from the experience, but the biggest takeaway for me is just how much fun Godot is to work with and to create things in. This is the same feeling I had when I first used Godot, so if you want to get the perspective of a newcomer to the engine, then give CTG Coding's channel a try, and let's encourage him to make more videos like this. Yuvanish has been making an Undertale battle system in Godot and this week he finished it and I have to say that it's really cool. So if you're a fan of Undertale and this particular style then check it out and be inspired. The Hive Queen has made a short tutorial about how to use simple geometry and prefabricated structures, modular blocks, ramps and a strange quirk of the Godot engine. If you want to find out what that is, then head over to the channel and watch the full video for yourself. That's all for this week. Thanks for joining me and I hope to see you all again next time.